G'day, welcome to iCultivate. My name's Steve, and today we're going to be looking at a question that an iCultivate member has sent in to us about how do we deal with the problem of spider mite. Spider mites are a real problem for the gardener, irrespective of whether we're talking about indoor plants or outside. Spider mites, just like spiders and ticks, are arachnids and they get their nutrition by sucking the sap from leaves of plants. This sucking the sap involves them pushing a needle-like structure into the plant and this damages the plant. The other problem with spider mites is that they often e exist in large colonies. So if you don't get on top of them, they can be a real problem for your plants. So how do we actually deal with spider mites? Well, the first thing that we've got to understand is that spider mites will transfer from one place to another by the wind. They actually make a little sail-like structure out of their webs which get carried by the wind from one place to the other. So what this means is, is that firstly you have to really isolate your plant that is infected from all other plants. You can't just leave it where it is, otherwise you're just going to probably infect other plants in the area. So step one when it comes to dealing with spider mites is you have to isolate the plant. Isolating your plant probably means moving it from inside your house into a garage or somewhere similar. You'll need to choose the location dependent upon what the climate is in your location. But the important thing is it must be isolated from other plants. The next thing is to remove the spider mite. Now, if you wish to go down the chemical pathway here, I would really encourage you to choose something that is biodegradable and be very mindful, please, of the environment. My preference is not to use chemicals of that nature. And really, I'm going to suggest a couple of options. The first one is to use neem oil. Now, neem oil is something that is derived from a plant-based product and is biodegradable. It is, I'm not for one minute suggesting that it's not harmful, so you do need to be mindful of how to use it, but it's a good option if you wish to go down this pathway. The second option is to use an insecticidal oil, something like white oil. Now with the oils, what these will do is essentially suffocate the mite. The other option, which is actually my preferred option, is to literally just blast the mites off the plant with a high pressure hose. So just with your normal garden hose, take the nozzle, put it on the highest pressure possible and blast the mites off the leaves. Now this is something which you're going to have to repeat and as long as you keep the plant isolated and you repeat this over a number of days, it is probable that you're going to get rid of these mites from this plant. The last thing to remember is to not return your plant back indoors with the others until you are absolutely certain that the spider mite infestation has gone. I'd really recommend that you monitor the plant in the garage or whatever location it is that you chose for up to a month to ensure that there hasn't been a reinfestation. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please go down to the thumbs up and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and don't forget, go to iCultivate.net and become a member of the community. Thanks for watching.